Oh, sorry for flexing on y'all. Look at this! Talk about my World Cup predictions and... Whoa! Today, we're gonna take it nice and slow and open up 100 World Cup sticker packs. This box right here costs more money than I've ever earned on YouTube. Now you may be wondering, Nathan, why waste a chance to buy 31 meal deals and buy World Cup stickers instead? And that's because my homeboy, Josh, we're trying to get the entire collection. Here is the official licensed sticker album, and so far, I've already got Ronaldo and Lionel Messi. This is the box, not any box, but the box. It has 100 individual packs inside and when you buy packs from the shop they get them from this box this one right here so plan is not to be boring and open them individually but i'm going to open all the packs without looking at any other players and stack them up and then we're going to play a few mini games so one of the flaps is open already i don't know how, why uh, i just have this effect on things you know and oh oh here we go probably very noisy oh 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 Ready? Oh, ready? Oh, oh, are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, it's got a little sticker here, so I'm gonna have to. And voila! All 100 packs. Look at these bad boys. Oh, sorry for flexing on y'all, but oh my god, look at this. Oh, don't drop them. <laughs> I dropped the ball, no! Right, you're gonna time lapse unboxing. Go! So there you have it. I have all 100, apart from one, packs opened, which I'll open right at the end because it's gonna be the best one. And just look at this. Ready? Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything like this? <laughs> These are just empty packs. Um, okay. Gonna yeet them away, yeet. And these are all the stickers all lined up. I'm trying to show you how much there actually are. Wait, if I do this. Ready? Oh, oh, look at that. These are all stickers. Now, I try my best not to look at any of them, but from the corner of my eye, I saw some shinies, I didn't actually see some players, so we're going to play some mini games instead of just looking at them boringly, and then after that, I'll put them in the book, and then we'll see where we are. So the first mini game I have planned is Poker Pairs, so I'm going to pull two cards, put them here, put five there, and see if we can get any pairs, and you know, it's just for fun, it's not going to be a thing. If it's like a, a different item rather than a player, then I'll just put it to the side. So first one, we got him. <laughs> Uh, that's a team, that's Poland, that's Poland, they got a good chance, and we got there. So we got a Iran player and a Russia player, so we're going to look for an Iran or Russia player. Nope, nope, nope. That's a team, nope, and one more. Damn. Ah, ooh, some good players, we got Piquet, Alderweireld. Right, next one. So I'm just going to, yeah, it's just for fun, we're just going to look at these. And then we'll play some other games on that. I'll just put them to the side on that. So next two, we got a Sweet Salon player and a Peru player. And next one, we got Iran. We got Uruguay. Argentina. Another team. A full Argentina team. That's good. We have a Korean player and we have a Brazil player. So no, no pairs again. But look, Rojo, Danny Alves. There's some pretty good ones so far. That is pretty good. We'll do a few more of these and then we'll try and do some other mini games just for fun, you know. So we have Mar, is that Morocco and Egypt? We have Sweden, Japan, Morocco. Oh, the Spain badge. The rare, what these rare badges, I feel like, like the rare, good players are rare, but like not as rare as these because these are actually shiny and you can only have like one or two in a pack maximum. Like they always have players. So that's really good. And uh, we have Peru, and we have, oh, another badge, Nigeria. No, I think that's a really rare one as well. Niger oh, well, apparently not, because we literally got Nigeria and Nigeria right next to each other. What are the odds? Right, okay. 
and we have Australia. So we got down there, and even on that, not the best of players, but we got a pair. We actually got one, two Morocco players. Uh, a few more of these, and then we'll switch, because I got a lot of packs, the stickers to go through, so, you know, I don't want to be too boring. We got Oxley Chamberlain, England, Australia, Belgium, ooh, Lukaku, Japan, Iceland, Belgium, oh, th those pairs don't count, and we have Sweden, that's what a pair, damn. Some good players again. We got Talmans. I, he's a really good youngster. He's going to be well. And Lukaku, and then obviously Oxley Chamberlain, who's been doing really well re recently. Because, you know, I'm into my football. I know a lot. I follow the Premier League. Big up Swansea. Don't get relegated, please. Thank you. Right, Nigeria. Uh, oh, Aguero! Aguero! <coughs> okay, I died. Right, Nigeria, Argentina, Denmark. Ooh, the Uruguay badge. Poland, Espana. We have Australia, and we have Peru. So no pair again, but we got Manuel, we got Aguero, and Moses. Some other ones. That's pretty damn good, pretty damn good if you say so. We got the Mexico team. We have Quintero, he's a good youngster. We got the Iran team. Uh, Australia team, God, we're getting a lot of teams. And Korea, right. We have, is it Panama? Um... We have Pan and Ko, Panama and Korea, Australia, Belgium. Oh, the Legends Germany World Cup winners. So that, they were the winners last year. That's really good. That's really good. I'm using a weird camera angle, so if I don't get the focus right and stuff, you know, I do apologize. This uh, it's new. We have Cro. Is that? Cro I think it's Costa Rica. Okay. Oh, another Costa Rica. And we got a ma ma no pass again. Uh, oh, we got them barely. Other than that, okay, players. Okay, we're looking for the the Premier League stars mainly now and the other players. But uh, oh, we got Panama and Korea again. We got Torres. Oh my God. Oh, Ryan Bertrand for England. Oh, my game is fair play. Are you sure about that, FIFA? <laughs> right, that's, that looks like a rare one. I like that one. Put those. I'm going to keep the teams and the rare ones over in this corner, the players over here, and then I'll show you all after. Uh, we got the Colombia. We have Iran. We'll have Espana. Ooh, Iniesta. We have another Espana. And a Saudi Arabia. So, no pairs again. One more of these, and then we'll switch to another mini game, okay? So we got Colombia and we have Mexico. Come on, we gotta get one more pair. Australia, France, can't they? Ooh, Portugal. We have a Japan. Come on, Korea. No pairs. Damn. But we got Kante. He's a really good run, right? So that's the first mini game. Player face off. So I'm gonna turn over three players and say what one of those I would like to have in my team and why. My team being Wales, who didn't qualify. <laughs> no, you know what I mean. And again, if it's a team or thing, I'm just going to put them to the side. I also want to say my, my footballing knowledge is pretty good, but, you know, there's always players you don't know, like substitute players for, like, small... Well, I say small countries, like, in terms of footballing-wise. Uh, so, yeah. So, we got the Portugal team. We got the Ronaldo over there. Very nice. Right, so we have Ian Acho. Very good youngster. Ooh, that looks like a very cool card. Rostov on Don, host city. I like it. Right, I'll put that to the side. We have Shakiri, and we have Kabu. Right, so obviously Ian Acho, very youngster, very youngster. He's just gone to Leicester after being with Man City. And Shakiri, Shakiri's actually one of the really good players. He's not having the best of times at Stoke. But you know what? For that one. Uh, I'm going to go Shakiri because he's like one of the main men for Switzerland. So, go on, Shakiri, I'm having you. All right, next three. We got Endai. We have Tehi. Sorry if I get any of these names wrong. And we have the Uruguay team. Nice. And we have uh, Aldossari. All right, Endai. I know he's a really good centre defensive mid. And I don't really know these guys. So, I'm going for you. I choose you. All right, now we got, oh, obviously, Sergio Ramos. Giovanni Dos Santos doing really well in the US of A's. And we have Makoto Hazabi. So you you obviously know what I'm going for. The main man himself. The captain. I, I don't know if he's a captain of Spain, but my man, Sergio Ramos. 
we got Shafik, we got Hayunsu, and we have Godin. Oh, Godin, he is actually one of the best defenders in the world. Atletico Madrid, I'm choosing you. Right, we got o Ochoa, we have Asmon, and we have Christiansen. So I don't really know these two, but I know Christiansen. He's do it. He's good youngster for Chelsea. He's gonna gonna do really well for them. So I need to choose you. All of my good players have been defenders right now. All right, so we got Slitty. We got Bernardo Silva. Oh, look at that smile. Look at him. And we got Erokun. So I know he's pretty good for Zenit, but Bernardo Silva just won the Premier League. Well done. Well done. And he won the League One last year, so that's good. We got Baloy, we got Kimmich, and we have ooh Andre Silva. So mm, Andre Silva hasn't doing as well as he should be for AC Milan. He's a good youngster. Everybody thought he's going to be amazing, but Kimmich f to replace Philip Lahm and do as well as he's done. You got to choose him, right? So Kimmich it is. Moscow, that's a big stadium. I think that might be one of the biggest stadiums they have over in Russia. So that's pretty cool. Put that over there. I'll put it out of the way of the frame. So we got v Vecino. Ooh, the legends, Argentina. So I think these legends are just previous winners or something. Am I wrong in saying that's... Well, it's Argentina. I'm not going to be wrong and say something. So We got Corzo. We have Augusto. So I don't really know any of these. But I'm going to go for the Brazil guy because, you know, Brazil... I honestly think I'm gonna leave my predictions for the end, but Brazil. Right, Vermalin, Rashford, or Bolonson. Well, it's obviously between these two. And ooh, see Vermalin. Maybe a few years ago I would choose him because he is very good. He's not as good as he used to be. But then Rashford. See, Rashford is definitely underrated, even for what he is, because he's so young. He's so good. If he played more. Things being wasted at United. Rashford, I'm choosing you. Alright. I'll do a few more of these. I'll try and leave like about five minutes or so to each game because otherwise it's going to be too long. So we've got Berg, we've got Sis, and we got I don't know any of you, just skip you. <laughs> we got Onazi, Cedric, and Brand. So, well, Cedric, Premier League. <laughs> Good decision. Henderson. Dembele and Tadic. Ooh, look at this. All three Premier League players. Now, Dembele, I honestly rate him so much. He's he's such a good strong runner on the ball. He's so good. He is the guy. Okay, so one more. We haven't had any, like, really, really amazing players. I mean, we've had Ramos and Iniesta, but uh, we haven't had, you know, the Neymars and everything. Ooh, Busquets, Boateng, and Fernandinho. Oh, my God, look at these three. Whew. So Busquets, I, I don't like how dirty he is. I know he's a good player, but I'm going to have to say no. Boateng, on a good day, he is arguably the best defender in the world. But then Fernandinho, on a good day, he's the glue of a team and some of the goals he can score. But I'm going to have to go for Boateng for Germany. GG. All right, so that's, mini, that, that's that mini game done. Next mini game is guess the player. So I'm going to flip it over like that. Look, see, it says Sweden in the corner. And I'm going to guess. Now, if I don't really know many Swedish players, like I don't, then I'm not going to guess. So, uh, you are Ekdal. I would have never got that. <laughs> I might get one, maybe. Mexico. So, I'm just going to go for Chikorita. No. Okay. <laughs> All right. This is a team. Serbia. Very nice. Oh, I, oh, sorry. I looked at that. Diego Costa. Very good player. I like it. I like it. Right. Flip it over. Russia. Um, I don't really know that many Russian players, so I won't guess. Smolov. I think I already got him, but it's fine. Uh, Belgium. Oh, we got a lot of Belgium players to go for. Um, I'm really liking the look of Merton. So, oh, Chadley. Mm, he was going to go to Swansea, but he didn't. So, you're terrible, mate. <laughs> right, so we got Costa Rica. I don't really know any. Campbell wouldn't have... Oh, Joel Campbell. I wouldn't have really got you anyway. Uh, we have Espana. Ooh, we have a lot of Spanish. But I'm going to go for... Hmm. I, I'm feeling some Carvajal. Oh, Nacho. Ooh. What a Real Madrid defender. Close, close, close. Right. 369. Brazil. Oh. Right. I see the hair. Um, I'm going to go for Polinho. Oh, Firmino. Close. Oh, Firmino. He's going to be good this year. Watch out for Firmino. 
Right, we got oh 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 we got Colombia. I'm gonna go for the Brighton Ezekio. Oh damn. Fabra. I I, I will get one of these. Panama. I will not get you. <laughs> I will get one of these right. Australia. Um I'm gonna go for Moy, that's the only one I know. Jurich, no. Nope. <laughs> France, oh, so France have so many good players, it could be anyone. Uh I'm gonna cheat a little and look at the head. Oh, it's gotta be Kante, right? Yeah. We've already got him, though. That doesn't count as a good guess, because I checked his hair. Oh, uh, I see the top of his head. I see his eyes. It's got to be Mertens, right? Yeah, my boy. He's going to be good. He's going to be good. Right. Tunisia. Oh, That's my first Tunisia player, and I have no idea. Yeah, when I've got you. Uh, That is Jimenez. Yeah. That is... Oh, is it Mbolo? Nah, Zakira. Damn. Right, ooh, uh, oh, that's, is that Mikel? It, he still playing? My man! I like you. Uh, right, we got Iran. I don't know you, sorry. Cool. Is that Shakiri again? Yeah, it is, nice. Right, a few more of these. Mexico. We're gonna go for Chicharito again. No, Moreno. Cool. Don't know you. Cool. Croatia. Well, that definitely doesn't look like Rakitic or Modric, so... Rog. Sorry, I don't know you. Iceland, right. I, I think I saw goalkeeper then, did I? I don't know his name. This guy, he makes more money in his movie-making career than he does playing football, and he's a goalkeeper for Iceland in a World Cup team. Iceland. I love them. All right, France. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna... Mmm. So you see, I see the top of the head... Uh, you see a little bit more than I do from the angle I'm looking at. Mm. This is going to be... Who do I go for? I'm going to go for... Mbappe. Oh, Kozawa. He's going to be good, but... Is he even first choice? I think he might be. Yeah. Wham. Uh, well, Ramos. Very good. Ready got you. Come on, we need some good stars here. Mexico. Well, mm, it's not Chicharito. Oh, is it uh, Dos Santos again? It is Dos Santos. I actually guessed that one. Yes! Oh, Japan. Oh, is that is that um? Oh, what's his name? He plays for British Dortmund and United. Kagawa. That's my man. Forgot your name. It's fine. Oh, uh, Croatia. Hmm. Uh, is this Serna? No, Brozovic. Ooh, he's actually pretty good for Inter Milan. Uh, Argentina. Oh, Argentina. Oh, I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna have a look. A little look. Ooh. Um. Hmm. I have. Oh, it's Ikadi! Ikadi! Very nice. Who have we got? Ooh, we got Germany. Oh, that's... This is either... There's one or two players. They look similar. It could be Chan or it could be Kadira. I know for Kadira. Oh, yes! Look at that. Right, I'm gonna go... Two more, two more, and then we'll skip to another one. Oh, oh, oh! Salah, Salah, da 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 Oh, Salah, Salah! This guy, if he manages to keep the World Cup in the World Cup like he's been doing it for Liverpool, then this guy, oh my, I'm so excited to see how well he does. If he can bring Egypt to the World Cup, what can he do in it? Come on, Salah. All right, that's a team or something. Oh, it's a stadium. Very nice. Put that to the side. All right, one more. I have to try and guess. England. Oh, there's a lot of English players. Are going to cheat and look at the hair? Or is he never? Oh, just from looking at that tiny bit of hair... I'm going to go for my man Phil Jones. And it is. That doesn't actually look like him. But it is. Very nice. Very nice. All right, this video is getting very long, and I haven't even gone through half of my players. So I'm just going to speed run through, flick them through, and just talk about my World Cup predictions, and then I'll only mention about the stickers that I look at, if it's a really, really good player, okay? Or if it's one of the players that I like, okay? Right, so we're just going to get the ball rolling first. Croatia, we have Gotze, my man from 2014, winning it. Very nice. We had Sanchez. See, very youngster. Very youngster. He need If he can show he can do well on a World Cup level, then, you know, he's got big things going for him, right? So my World Cup predictions. You know, I'm actually going to get the book. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> During the court recording, I ran over a page of my book with my... With my chair. So, oh no, oh no. Oh no, the rare ones. I can't, right, as long as I don't rip any of the pages, it's only the first one, right. So, I'm gonna get the groups up over here. I'm gonna put them on the corner. 
Right, I have the groups here, so we can have a look at them. I'm just going to flick through the players, okay? So group A, we got Russia, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, and Uruguay. So this one, ah, see, it could, mm, it's going to be one of the really close groups, I reckon. Well, this is actually quite hard to think about what I'm doing, actually look at these players, but I'll try it, I'll try it, I'll try So, ooh, we got a stadium over there. Right, so obviously Russia the hosts. I'm pretty sure Russia, ooh, oh, Dybala, he is actually one of my favourite players. He's only 23, or he might be 24 now. And, oh, he's so, he's like definitely Messi-esque. And, oh, if he can do well, oh, I just love you, Dybala. I love you so much. I'm going to put you, you, you get a special spot right there. He is actually the favourite player I've got so far. Today, anyway, I've already got Messi, Ronaldo, but, you know. All right, so, yeah, Russia, I think they're one of the lowest rated, if not the lowest rated team that's qualified, well, qualified for the World Cup because they automatic they get automatic qualification while, um, yeah, you know, they get automatically qualified for just being the host. Oh, we got the England 1966. I would be more hyped, but I'm from Wales, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah, so Russia, you know, I think they can, they can do well, but they're not, like, they're probably not looking, oh, my boy's from Swansea. Uh, well, not from Swansea, place of Swansea. They're probably not going to challenge to win it, but they could do well in that group. Now, Saudi Arabia, you know, they got obviously a good enough team to qualify. They don't have any standout players, though, but, you know, you don't need the standout players in the World Cup. You just need a good team and a good thing. You know, Iceland showed that in the Euros, and, uh, you know, any players can play well together as long as you're a team. Matuidi, good player. And so Saudi Arabia have got maybe a chance of qualifying. But then we have Egypt. I know Salah's been carrying them. Ooh, he's good. And, um, well, I wouldn't say carry because, you, again, you need a team. But Egypt. Ooh, Martial. Martial. Very nice player. Uh, yeah, so I'd, uh, Egypt, if Salah performs the way he's been doing, which I think he will. Koscielny, good France player then hopefully Egypt can do well, because I want them to do well. I want, I just want a lot, I want all the teams to do really well. I don't want it to be like, where it's only like, looks like, looking like three or four. Oh, Mbappe! God, I'm interrupting myself with good players now. I don't want, you know, too many teams to not do too well. So, um, I want Egypt to do well. Oh, Ericsson. I'm getting all the good players. And then Uruguay, I think Uruguay are definitely going to win that group. With maybe Egypt Kim coming second, maybe pushing for top if Salah does really well. Neymar, my man, I can't believe, I can't believe it. You got Neymar, most expensive player. You know what? I still prefer Dybala, but Neymar, if he does as well as he did in the last World Cup, which I think he will, because I think he's even got better. Brazil, wait, wait until I get to it, right? Group B, we have Portugal, Spain, Morocco, and Iran. I think it's quite clear to see that, well, Portugal and Spain should win. I See, again, I don't think Portugal have the best of teams, but they proved in the Euros that even without Ronaldo, they can win against France. So, um, you know, oh, Blazkowski used to be really good. Yeah, so definitely Portugal and Spain for Group B. Hazard! Oh, my God, I'm getting all the players. Look at this. I'm going to leave, like, the really good players, like, here. So we got Hazard. We've got Dybala and Neymar so far, like the really, really top players now on in these ones anyway. Oh. So Group C, we've got France. France, I think France have the best squad of players. Not the best starting 11, or probably they are. My recording device decided to stop then. So as I was saying, Group C, France, they definitely have the strongest squad. Everybody in their subs can really get into that first team and like... Almost, I think, I'm pretty sure, like, almost all of their players are their first choice for their clubs in that position. Or if not, they should be. You know, the players like Mbappe and Rashford and Dembele, very, very good players. They should definitely, they should be contending to win, never mind that group. They definitely won that group because Australia, not the best of teams. They can do well. Uh, ooh, I thought that was the other Sane then. I <laughs> just read the name, not looking at the player. Ooh, Portugal badge, that looks nice. Yeah, Australia... Maybe qualify. Peru, maybe. And Denmark, maybe. See, it's, it depends who plays well in the thing. I think Peru will probably go through in that one because, again, they don't have the best of players, but they play really well as a team. They're quite high in the rankings, I believe. And then you have Argentina. 
uh, obviously, well, group, this is Group D now. So Argentina, Iceland, Croatia, and Nigeria. So that, again, is quite a tough group because, well, Nigeria do have some good players. And, um, well, like, look at these. As I say, I have freaking two Nigeria players. <laughs> Uh, they have some good players. They play well as a team. And they show that as they qualify. And Iceland, they have all of the Suns and, and the Sens. You, they showed in the Euros they can play really well. Then Croatia are obviously one of the better teams. With When they have Modric and Rakitic and then the other players around them, then they play really well. But then Argentina... Oh! Coutinho! He's going there. Look at this! Look at this! That was amazing! Okay, so Argentina, you know, the, uh, the, they have the best forwards. They have just the, even the, like they're not their first one. They have Icardi, they have Messi, they have Dybala, they have Aguero. They, they, how can they not, you know, contend to win with all of those players? They got to, right? So I'm going to go for Argentina to definitely win that group. I'm going to have to go for Croatia second, I think. I think Iceland will be close and then Nigeria close again. It's really hard to tell who who will do better on that one. We've got John Stones. Uh, right, so Group E, we got Brazil, Switzerland, Costa Rica, Serbia. So that's a pretty good group as well. Obviously, Brazil, you would expect to win with all the players that they have. But uh, oh, they just... Brazil. Brazil. They have... I'm not going to ruin it, but Brazil, they have such a good team. Because think, in, in the last World Cup, you know, they were beating all the teams. Obviously, they got ruined by Germany. But that was one because they struggled. Be oh, see? Talking about Brazil. They struggled because they didn't have the best to strike. Oh, oh damn, I already got that one. Good thing my friend's collecting these as well, so we can just give all the duplicates to him. But yeah, Brazil, they struggled because they didn't have a real good striker. But this year, Firmino's doing really, really well. And I love how Firmino... He fits so well in the Brazil squad because he's not a goal-scoring striker. He is a... Well, like, he can score goals, but he actually looks like a really nice card. Hang on. I really like that. Yeah, but for me, no, he, he, no, his main goal isn't to, for him to score. His main goal is for his team to score, as you can see with Liverpool. And it's worked really well with, like, Salah and Mane around him. Imagine having Coutinho, Neymar, Willian, and all of them around him this year. Then, oh, wow, I can't imagine. And then Gabriel Jesus as well, if they need... Another striker, because he is definitely hungry for goals all the time. And they have amazing defenders as well, like Miranda and D Dani Alves. Uh, yeah, uh, Thiago Silva. Uh, I can't... Well, David Luiz, that's the one that was caught in my tongue. Uh, you know, they just... Oh, definitely. So, I think Brazil definitely should win that group. I, I, I'll, I'll say all the groups and then I'll say what I think further on. Then we have Switz... Ooh, Thiago. Then we have Switzerland, Costa Rica, Serbia. So, oh, see, Marcelo, best left back in the world. Brazil, I'm going to leave him there. These are some really good players. I have actually got some really good luck in this. Well, I don't believe in luck, but I've got some very good players, I must say. Right, so, Switzerland, Costa Rica, Serbia. Ooh, France team. Uh, I think Serbia were the ones that qualified out of the... Ooh, Willian, see, he's really good. Uh, well, uh, he's, he's really good, but I'm going to leave him in the pile. I don't want to put... Uh, don't want to put all of the... Good players right here. Only the really, really good ones. The Brazil team, I think. Did I already get the Brazil team? I'm not sure. Uh, actually, yeah, I'll put Marcelo there as well. Because these are the really, really good players. It's good because the the only really good players we haven't got really is Messi and Ronaldo. And we've already got those. <laughs> All right, so... Yeah, Serbia are the ones that qualified in Wales' group. The ones that didn't... We didn't... Oh! <gasps> Duplicate Messi! The good thing as well... My friend doesn't have Messi, and my friend actually had a duplicate Ronaldo. That's how I have Ronaldo. So now I'm going to give him a Messi back. He'll be happy with that. Damn, son. Oh, so good. Yeah, so Serbia, they're good. I, but I honestly think Swit. Ooh, Mane as well. See, Senegal. Mm. We, we'll move on to those as, as we get to a group. I think they're in H. Yeah, so I think Switzerland. Ooh, Sterling. If Sterling does as well as he has been in some parts of the season. Oh, that looks really cool. I love how I'm in. I'm like having three different conversations all at once now. This is great. Uh, this video is going to be a lot longer than I thought, even though I'm doing like all of this. But uh, you know, I'm just trying to make it entertaining and uh, entertaining at least. So Brazil, Switzerland, Costa Rica, Serbia. Hmm. I think Serbia will be close third, but Switzerland I think should get second. Hope. Well, I say hopefully. I you know I 
I hope that just all the teams do well, but I think they will. It's group F. This one's a cut. Ooh, Deli Ali, a best Twitch streamer. <laughs> He's playing Fortnite recently. It's great. And um, yeah, Group F: Germany, Mexico, Sweden, Korea, oh, Griezmann. Griezmann. I love Griezmann so much. Again, did Fortnite dance? Take the L. All of these players, they're just really good Fortnite players. Okay, <laughs> they just they just love Fortnite. And um, right, Germany, Mexico, Sweden, Korea, Republic. I'm gonna. So you'd obviously say Germany. A lot of people think Germany will win it. And, well, from last, the, you know, from the all of the qualifying and everything, they've been doing really, really well. I, I really need to go through these players. I, I'm going through. I'm going to have to try and not pay attention to what I'm doing and actually talking, because otherwise I'm not going to be able to do all of these fast enough, right? So I'm going to make a new pile, actually, move all these players away. Right, so Germany, you'd expect to win. You know, they have really good players. And um, they have, oh, we got that one again. And um, they, yeah, they they have my man Sigerson. Why did you leave Swansea? And um, <laughs> see, I'm interrupting myself so much. Bachoye, he could do well. And um, they have really, really good players. They don't have any standout players. That's what I like about Germany. They, oh, they are like a really, really good team, you know? Like Muller is one of their best players. But, like, nobody would say Muller is one of the best in the world, but he's just, he is actually, like, so underrated. He's amazing. Mexico, Sweden, Korea Republic. See, that's going to be a tough one. I didn't think Sweden were going to even qualify, but they knocked out... Oh, Legend Pele? What? Whoa. That's awesome. Nice. Yeah, so I didn't think Sweden were going to qualify, but... I th I'm pretty sure they... Oh, that's nice as well. I'm pretty sure they knocked out... Um, they knocked out it Italy, didn't they? And, you know, Italy, of all team players to knock, uh, teams to knock out. So, you know, Mexico as well. They've done, you know, USA didn't qualify. Mexico did. Uh, Korea Republic as well. They're a really good team. I I'm going to have to go for Germany and... Oh, I don't know. I would go Germany and Mexico... It could be any of those to come second, and I, I I assume Germany would come first. I think they definitely got that in the bag already, but as long as they play well, you know, some of the good teams could play really bad. Like just look at Germany Brazil. Oh, Di Maria, very good player. See Argentina's attack, but you wouldn't have never said that the Germany Brazil game ended like how it did, and you know, it just did. Oh, also as well, Argentina. Wait, no, I no Brazil. They didn't have the best goalkeeper as well. Back in the day, but now they got Edison. I assume Edison will still be the uh, will be the first choice, or if not, they at least have him in the squad, and he's been doing so well this season for for our young years. If he can show he can do it on the big stage, then he's definitely got it. So Germany, Mexico, Sweden, Korea. I, yeah, I'm gonna go for Germany and Mexico, and then for Group G, we got oh Sane. See, uh, see, good Germany have good youngsters as well. We have Belgium, Panama, Tunisia, and England. So this is probably one of the easiest groups to guess. You would probably say Belgium and England, right? Uh, Belgium. Belgium are a difficult one because they have really good players like Hazard. And they have, you know, Lukaku. I don't think Lukaku's amazing. But, you know, he's definitely one of the better strikers in the world. You definitely wouldn't not choose him for your team. They have really good players like Vertonghen, Vermaelen. Uh, oh, Modric, very nice. And, um, oh, that's a pretty good pack, actually. And then Douglas Costa to end it. That, that was, like, one of the better packs, that was. Ooh. Oh, it's, like, one of the two half ones, you know, one of the ones that I accidentally drove over on my chair. <laughs> All right, Belgium, Panama, yeah. So, Belgium, but then they lost to Wales in the Euros. And, you know, Wales are quite comfortable as well, 3-1. The only goal Belgium scored was... The really long goal by Nine Golan and oh Nine Golan is still think he's one of the best centre midfielders in the world. But they they I just hope Belgium do well because the players that they have it's disappointing when like a team has so many good players and then they don't actually perform well together. It's not it's it's not good. But then England exactly point proven. You no, know, am I shaking the camera when I do that? Oh no, I'm just shaking that. <laughs> and um, yeah, see England they. The players they got, Harry Kane, best strike in the world. Deli Ali is I know he's not not the the best, but he, like he works with Harry Kane really well. 
They have, you know, Sterling when he's on a good day. Rashford, he's got to do something, right? Walker, really good right back. You know, they have so many good players. Or do, or do they just look good because they're in the Premier League, you know? If they were just in another league, will people, like, well, overlook them? And you might say, yeah, just because of how bad they usually do in, like, all of the, you know, the things. They, they have the potential to do well, but it's whether or not they do it, isn't it? And as a Welsh boy, I, I even though, you know, we're rivals with England, I want England to do well. Oh, Neuer. Neuer... I don't think he's the best goalkeeper in the world anymore. I think De Gea is, but still definitely one of the best ever. <laughs> All right, so Group H, yeah, I'm going to go for Belgium and England for Group G. But for Group H, Poland, Senegal, Colombia, Japan, that's one of the really close ones as well. Poland, you know, Lewandowski, that's all I have to say. He is just... Lewandowski would be the best striker in the world for me if it wasn't for Kane. Sani again, nice. But uh, I think Kane is, and Lewandowski is probably close second. Well, I don't know if you would class Ronaldo as a striker now. Ooh. Nice. I have the... Oh, no, I have the Champions League ball, not the World Cup ball, but that's nice. And, um, yeah, Senegal. Ooh, Ericsson again. Senegal, they have some really good players as well. Mane and that. Ooh, Courtois. One of the best goalkeepers in the world. Uh, Senegal can do well. Colombia can do well. You saw James Rodriguez was a breakout star in the last year. That's what I, hope, that's what I love about the World Cup. Is that you see these players, like, they might be, you know, pretty good. You know, you're playing for um, League One team Marseille, no, uh, Monaco at the time James Rodriguez was. Or did they just sign him after that? I'm not sure. But, you know, he was already a good player. But then everybody saw in the World Cup of how amazing he was. Son, he's probably Korea's best player. Joe Hart. If England choose him as their goalkeeper, then that's where they go wrong. <laughs> Yeah, and that's what I love about the World Cup, you know, it just brings out these stars. Like, if they can do it on the stage of a World Cup, then you know they're definitely worth it. Because, like, Rodriguez, even though he, he went straight to Real Madrid, didn't do too well there. But that's not because of him, that's just because of Real Madrid with their oversaturation of good players. I mean, it wins them stuff, but, you know, what's the point of winning stuff if you're just going to waste stars, you know? Because look at James Rodriguez for Bayern Munich now. He almost knocked out Real Madrid in the Champions League. Doing that well. Oh, that was a nice one. And, you know, so... Colombia, they could do well. And Japan, I'm not... I don't really know many players from Japan, but I think they're pretty good. But for that one, I'm going to have to go Poland and... Uh, it's between Senegal and Colombia for me. I'm going to go for Colombia, because they have, like... Uh, see, Senegal players. Whenever I talk about a team, I seem to get them, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think they, they will get it. We're actually quite close to the end, yeah. We've got about... Maybe 30 or 40 left. Maybe a bit less than that. But yeah, that's it for all the groups. Now, I'm not sure if it's like already decided the winners of what groups can play. But for me, the teams that can win, I'm going to name a few teams that I think can win. I think if Spain can score goals, I know they have they have like amazing players. Like their defence though, like players like Ramos, you know, can get you goals. So I think Spain could win it. I think France can win it. France have the best squad, definitely. I think Argentina can win it, but I don't think they will because of the, the you know, they have Messi, Dybala, all of those, Di Maria, Aguero, oh, the list goes on. But uh, they just don't want to do well at the, the back in the midfield. You know, they just build up. They only just qualified. Brazil, obviously. Germany, I, I'm, re I'm really close to the end, yeah, so I'm just going to... I'll, I'll I'll just show them all, and then I'll just say who I think, and I can actually concentrate on what I'm saying. Then this is getting way too long. Well, at least well, at least you get to see the players. You know, we've had a nice chill, nice talk, and we right. That's what all of them shown. These are probably the, some of the best players. I got like I, oh, I just realised as well, Griezmann. You already get him with this book, and uh, I already had him again before. So you know, but other than these, I haven't had these. Well, I've had Messi before. I haven't had these ones before. That's good, right? So let me just quickly go through this. And then I'm just going to put all these stickers in the book and I'll show you at the end. So Brazil, obviously one of the best teams. Germany, I think can win it. Um, probably that. I'm going to go for, yeah, Germany, Brazil, Spain and France. Yeah? Yeah, I'm going to go for those four, the most likely to win. I think those might be the favourites anyway. But for me, 
oh, Brazil have definitely got it. Because Brazil, I just, every, every part of the Brazil team is, right, so if they have Edison in goals, which I hope they do, that's one of the best goalkeepers already. They have Marcelo, best left back in the world. David Luiz, Thiago Silva, Marquinhos, whoever they play, definitely really good. Dani Alves on the right back as well, amazing. They also have, um, who's the Juventus left back, you know who I'm on about. He's really, really, he's one of the best left backs in the world. He's coming up. Uh, the midfield, they kind of struggled before, but Casemiro's doing so well recently. And I'm just going to look stack all these players while I talk, because uh, otherwise it just looks like I'm not doing anything. Yeah, Casemiro, he's just been doing so well. He's like one of those glue players. Fernandinho as well. Damn, we got the hiccups. And um, he can do really well. And then they're up front. Come on, Coutinho, Firmino, Jesus, Willian. They just... I think Firmino is literally one of their best players in that team because that's where they struggled last year, was with the one last World Cup, is with the striker. You know, they had Fred, who... Um, obviously, well, I think they tried, like, four or five strikers and they didn't kind of give up in the end, didn't they? And, um, you know, they were focusing on Neymar, but Coutinho's there. They got... They got other people around them to score goals. Never mind just Neymar, and then they have Firmino, who's gonna be like, he's I, I he's gonna if he plays well and supports their play their their play really well. I think Brazil have got it definitely in the bag. That's it. <laughs> right, so all of these this, this these are all the players I got. Look at these all these piles. I all right. I'm just gonna put them all in the box and then I'll do a, my review on this massive box and if you should buy this box of a hundred packs or not. And that is it. Literally about two hours later, and they're all stuck in. So, from the whole thing, we got this many duplicates. Now, I did have about 20 packs or so before. My friend has given me some of his duplicates. But that's quite a lot of duplicates to get. Hopefully, they won't go to waste. Hopefully, my friend hasn't got them. But we're just going to look through all of what I got. Also, remember, I still have one pack. This is going to have best players that we haven't got yet in it. Promise. So, you can see the my damage from when I accidentally run over it during the video. But uh, we got quite a few stadiums. We haven't got any complete teams like this. We've got one, uh, we just need one of those, well, two of these, and then that one's done. Uh, but I haven't got any complete teams or pages. So Russia, you see missing five. Saudi Arabia, missing a few. Egypt, missing a few. We, remember, we got Salah. We got some pretty good players in this as well. We got Messi, who, who, who was a du duplicate. We've got six players needed there, four missing there. We've got Ronaldo. My friend gave me that though. I haven't actually unpacked him myself. My friend had, has had three Ronaldos already, and he's only bought like twenty packs or so. It's amazing, <laughs> crazy. So we got quite a few of Spain. We had Diego Costa duplicate. We had Ramos duplicate. Well, Morocco, that, Morocco is one of the, I think there's two or three teams where I only need like three players. I think that's the closest. Four here for Iran. France, and quite a few more. We need uh, defenders. And my man Pog, Pogba, Australia. If you notice, I haven't been that accurate with the sticking because I'm not a perfectionist. I don't want to have it completely perfect. Otherwise, I'd rather just buy like, you know, a a magazine with the just pictures of the players you know it feels a bit more better when you get so, like i don't want to do it like all over the place but just a little bit out it feels more personal you know see a peru close denmark not that close argentina we got aguero we got dybala we got messi we got di maria all today loving that iceland pretty close only three more one of them being the badge Croatia. oh look how empty this is this is so sad the worst part about this is i had about I had more duplicates for Croatia than actual ones that I haven't had yet. I think I had like three of like one of these players. I can't remember who. Uh, not good, not good. <laughs> Nigeria quite close as well. So only four. Brazil. I didn't have any Brazil players. I literally had the badge and the team before and no other players. And we got all of these players just from today, which is amazing. Because we got Neymar, got Coutinho. You know, amazing players here. Marcelo, Firmino. Nice. Switzerland, really close as well. Costa Rica, quite close. Serbia, three. That's quite good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven for Germany left. You know, some good players needed as well. Quite close to Mexico, Sweden, Korea Republic, Belgium. I didn't have that many Belgian players either, and I got a lot of them, like in Lukaku, Mertens, Hazard. Really nice. Panama. Did I... 
Yeah, I did. Okay, never mind. Tunisia, not too many. England, I'm actually only missing three, and I had a hardly any England players. Harry Kane, Rose, and Cahill. Uh, a lot. The only England players I had was like Deli Ali, I think, comes with it, and I had like Sterling before, so I had duplicate Sterling. Poland, I got duplicate Lewandowski as well. I didn't even realize when I got that. I must have flicked through when I was talking. Uh, a few more Senegal, Colombia, and Japan, and that's all of the teams. And then when it comes to the legends and stuff, I got only four of these. We've got Legend Pele, which is insane. We got duplicate that and duplicate that. Wait, can you even see? Duplicate this, this one to duplicate, and that one in duplicate. And uh, yeah, and that's it. So we got one final pack. And I I do want to say that this th these are this box of a hundred. Was it worth it? If you want, if you definitely want to get the entire collection, it is the cheapest way. And it only has 500 stickers, and there's like, I think about set, almost about 700, 600 and something. So, if you want to get it, even just get it at the start. But I wouldn't, I don't know, I don't think getting another one would be worth it. I think I'm just going to keep getting like tens of packs and wait for my friend to buy some packs. And hopefully with our duplicates together. And then on the official Panini website, you can actually buy the ones you need. But here we are, this is the last one. It's going to give us loads of duplicates, ready? Hey, Jimmy Vardy, duplicate. Ooh, Felipe Luiz, I haven't actually got him. Boras, uh, Ayala, and Kyle. You know what? I don't have him. I don't have him. I'm pretty sure I don't have him. And Vardy. There you go. That's pretty good. Right, I'll put these in. And that's going to be the end of the video. So thank you for watching.